Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial by Tutorial Grid. Now on this tutorial, we're not necessarily looking at After Effects or Premiere or anything really that creative, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at how to create a Snapchat ad, what some uh, really good techniques are uh, for creating it. So, but first, head on over to Facebook at facebook.com slash avidproductions479. Give us a like on our Facebook page. Uh, you can keep up to date with everything that we're doing, uh, including the live one hour special that we do every week. And uh, you can uh, check out some more tutorials as well as make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can find all sorts of After Effects and Premiere tutorials on how to do some pretty awesome stuff. So what we're doing today is we're just going to look at this Snapchat ad. So this isn't really a Snapchat chat ad. This is just something that I created for tutorial purposes only. So this isn't really a tutorial about how to do this, but actually how to create and set up a type of Snapchat ad. So uh, just recently, a company that I work with got the permission to start doing uh, using Snapchat ads and things like that. So I wanted to go over some of the things that I learned and uh, some really cool techniques as well as you can download this free template on CherokeeTurner.com. So follow the link in the description and you can get this template right here that shows you where the text actually overlays in the video. That way the stuff in your video doesn't get in the way of where this stuff is. So right off the bat, um, this, this is what you're going to get in the template. It's just a really quick swipe up. This is where they say add. This is where all the text is uh, that you can implement inside the Snapchat ad, as well as this is where these little ticker buttons are that have more options. So whenever you're creating a Snapchat ad, the first and foremost thing is a, does it advertise exactly what you're wanting? And the easier and is, which is basically, you know, showcasing the, the thing that you're wanting to advertise, but the most, probably one of the most important things is your branding. And one of the places that I figured out that is the best for branding is right here, right here in the middle where it says swipe up. You're going to want to put your brand right there. Reason why is you read swipe up, you automatically read that brand. So it's uh, it's a really great place to place your your logo or a place a, a spot of text that you really want to be read because you're going to see swipe up and you obviously you look down and you can swipe up with your thumb. Another really good zone to place text in are some of these zones where you have clickable objects. So you think about it, you have to click there, but you have some text there that you can put where you can utilize brand engagement or best scooter in the world, you know, things like that. Um, that way you can utilize this space in a way that you know these things are clickable but over by those clickable objects are some very important text that you might want to be read. Now on this text example right here where it says text and text example, these are just places where Snapchat automatically utilizes. So whenever you create your ad where it says text and text example, these two places um, you actually change in Snapchat. So you definitely want to make sure that this has your brand. So under this text, that's going to say whatever brand that you're, you're advertising. And then the text example right here, that's where you're going to place the description snippet like two words, maybe, <laughs> you know, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So make sure to check out this free template. Um, it's available online at checkyturner.com. You can just click it in the description below. This comes with a white overlay as well as a black one. The text that's utilized in Snapchat is about a gray, like a really light gray. Uh, so it's kind of in the middle of this. So make sure to remember that whenever you're making your ad, but basically that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this brief, brief tutorial and uh, make sure to download this template. Uh, I think it will definitely help you out a lot whenever you're creating ads that way you're not putting important data over things <laughs> that you shouldn't be so thanks a lot for checking out this video and i hope you enjoy it make sure to like and subscribe